What's up everybody, it's Jonathan from ot for tech and today we're going to be comparing the display on the Galaxy Note 4 up against the display on the Nexus 6. Both of these phones have very impressive displays and you won't be disappointed with either. However, with that being said, let's find out which is superior to the other. Before we compare the two, let's take a look at exactly what we are looking at. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 is packing a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED Quad HD display with a PPI of 515. Of course, it has Gorilla Glass 3 for protection and an oleophobic coating as well. The Nexus 6 on the other hand is packing a whopping 5.96 inch or it's safe to say 6 inch AMOLED Quad HD display with a PPI of 493 and again it has Gorilla Glass 3 for protection and an oleophobic coating. Starting with the Nexus 6 as a preparation, I'm going to ensure the brightness on both of these devices is turned all the way up and the automatic brightness is disabled. On the Note 4, I'm going to do the same exact thing, except I'm also going to go into the settings portion of the phone and turn on the adaptive display mode rather than the cinema, photo, or basic mode, only to keep it as equal as possible since this is what the Note 4 ships with out of the box. Before we get started with the actual display testing, let's go over the viewing angles and the overall brightness. Both phones have above average viewing angles as can be seen in the next few shots. However, the Nexus 6 tends to have slightly better off-access viewing angles, but the Note 4 has clear images and text when viewing it from the sides. This is thanks to the fact that the Note 4 can get much brighter than the Nexus 6, especially in terms of direct sunlight viewing. The Note 4 has some crazy brightness trick up its sleeve that turns the brightness all the way up to 750 nits for perfect visibility in the harshest lit areas, but this also drains your battery much quicker, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to be using an app called Display Tester, which you can download in the Play Store, and it's going to compare the gamma, blacks, whites, banding, and so forth. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to download the app and check it out for yourself. It's important to add that I am by no means a professional or even close at displays, and this is definitely not a professional app. However, it will give us a premises to go by and base a hypothesis on. Here you can see a complete color or gamma grid. If you look closely, which I know it's difficult because of the distortion from the camera and the Note 4 display, you can notice the color reproduction on the Note 4 is much better. Here's a quick banding test, which honestly I'm not 100% on how to read the results, but feel free to pause the clip and take a look for yourself and let me know in the comment section below what you come up with. Next up is the black saturation test, and here you can see the Nexus 6 display has incredibly dark blacks, but the Note 4 has the same level of blacks and thanks to display getting a little bit brighter on the Note 4, it has more level of detail. Next up is focusing on the whites, and here you can see the Nexus 6 display is much, much warmer than the Note 4, which is much cooler. Both are on the opposite sides of the spectrum here, so it will come down to a matter of personal preference. I honestly like the cooler display on the Note 4 a little bit better, but then again, that's just a personal preference. This is testing the contrast levels of each display, which honestly, they look very similar. However, if you pause the clip and take a closer look, you can see the Note 4 produces slightly better black contrast than the Nexus 6. Here we are looking at the white contrast levels, which again look better on the Note 4. And lastly, we are comparing the saturation levels on each. Both offer very saturated colors due to the AMOLED displays, and it's honestly very hard to see a difference. It will come down to a preference on this test, just like I previously said on some of the other tests. Okay, so now let's take a look at some real world pictures and compare the level of detail and all the things that we just went over. The first picture is of a lily pad and some water. We're testing out the vivid color reproduction here. Both displays produce a crisp image with lots of detail and great color reproduction. However, if I had to pick on a personal level, it would be the Note 4 as the amount of detail is slightly higher and colors are slightly brighter. And next up, we're looking at the beach here. Some shells, sand, rocks. We're testing out the color brown if you cannot tell. And honestly, here I feel the Nexus 6 display looks much better due to the warmer display, but again, the details are better on the Note 4, but it's very minute. Here we're testing out the greens in each display, and what's better to use than grass? Again, both displays look fantastic, however the Nexus 6 display seems to be a bit more oversaturated but appeals to me a little bit better, but the Note 4 is much more accurate in terms of the grass producing a more lifelike image. Again, it will come down to a matter of personal preference with this one. This is another test of greens, except this time it's a leaf. Same thing can be said here as above. The Nexus 6 is a bit more oversaturated but produces a great image to look at while the Note 4 is still oversaturated but much more lifelike with a tad bit better detail. 
blues 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 here we're looking at the water and the sky and you can see the detail and image in general looks a bit better on the note 4 this is not only thanks to the higher ppi for the level of detail but also the fact that the display is cooler than the nexus 6 thus producing better blues dark colors look great on both displays however the note 4 tends to showcase a bit more detail as it has a greater spectrum of dark colors to reproduce what i mean by this is the nexus 6 tends to dark out the majority of the image while you can see much more detail in the water water and reflections on the Note 4. Sorry about the low battery warning, please disregard that and look below. Here you can compare the light colors. This again will come down to whether you want a warmer display or a cooler display as we're testing out the whites here. Same thing here, although personally I choose the Note 4 when viewing this image as the amount of detail and realism look much better on the Note 4 and thanks to the cooler display it adds more emphasis on what the photographer captured here. Roses are red and with that being said let's compare the reds. The roses on the Nexus 6 are more vibrant but also lacking the level of detail that can be found in the rose petals on the Note 4 but this again is very minimal and you have to look very hard to see this. A beautiful picture of the sunset shows off the orange reproduction on both displays. Here I would definitely go with the Nexus 6 thanks to the warmer tones, it adds more effect onto the image itself. Both of these displays will produce crisp text and sharp images, especially when you're viewing your icons, and unless you're sitting side by side and gawking at them, you will hardly notice a difference. The Note 4 is definitely a more accurate display, especially in basic mode as it produces the most accurate color reproduction on any smartphone to date when in this mode. However, when using it in adaptive cinema or photo modes, you will only see a slight difference when compared to the Nexus 6, unless you, of course you're talking about brightness as the Note 4 gets significantly brighter than the Nexus 6. At the end of the day, it will come down to a matter of opinion and choice. Both of these displays are excellent and will not disappoint. My personal favorite between the two is definitely the Note 4, and that's thanks to the ability to switch between the different screen modes and slightly more detail, but the Nexus 6's 6 inch display is a monster to view media on and I enjoy it for that purpose as well. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If there's anything that I can improve on, make sure you leave me a comment in the section below to let me know what it is. And if you want to see anything in particular with the Nexus 6, leave me a comment to that as well also. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the description below so that way you stay posted and up to date on my future content. Again, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one.